Chesterfield the third paid watch reviews and I'm doing a review for Gerard Archie I'd like you to go for a video reply I've donated 50 US <coughs> of course this is a long email please keep my name confidential I decided to buy a good watch for my first fat paycheck from my new job and boy has it sucked me in I'm completely taken over and even looking at watches during toilet breaks now this has to stop and I'm asking for your advice a good watch defines half who you are half who you want to be in my case I a little dark subtle high quality watch why well because I'm a yuppie oh I haven't heard that term before how we wanted a uh, BMW 3 series how are ah, the days but one has taken the less traveled path. I'm educated, yes, but I never felt entitled or like standing in line till I'm handed a position by seniority or by being the biggest asshole in the room. I went out, traveled the world, learned different languages and businesses. I'm basically a modern day explorer. Why dark? Well, because it stands for deep subtle, subtlety, seriousness, and not being afraid to take what is yours. Now that I'm 33, I feel like buying a watch to commemorate what has been achieved so far and what great things I still can do. <clears throat> Budget is not an issue. The question is whether or not it's worth spending the amount of money. Happy to spend up to 12,000 US, but no dog shit please, as you say. I prefer automatic because winding a less expensive watch feels a bit strange. Here's, here is what I've looked at so far. Number one, Reverso. Beautiful watch that shows great character. You do not see many Muppets wearing this watch. In fact, you see even very few brands even trying to fake it. However, it is a bit old world. It is like a beautiful opera. It has its place. This is not on the beach, not on a out in, in the sticks business meeting. It's very much first world, I am more developing world. Number two. Panerai 42mm radio that this 1940s dial is unique. I love diving so the heritage fits. I don't like the bigger bulker models because I do not have gigantic wrists. My concern is the Panerai with the Panerai is whether the inside of the watch is worth the money. I'm not adverse. I'm not well versed on this part I have to admit. My concern with Panerai is that I'll find out later that it's a designer watch lacking real substance. Number three, Omega. I like the dark side of the moon. It's big, it but fits. Has a textile band, which I think on the one side is kind of a bold statement. On the other, in insult to the guys that buy it from this moment, I haven't listed the IWC here for the exact reason. Nice look, but let's be frank. The design was based on the CWC G10 and the price is simply not in proportion. Get the CWC, then I would say. Lastly, reckon I'll buy a vintage Speedmaster dark dial and put my own band on it, textile or leather. Here, I need a bit of guidance. Which ones are sturdy, iconic, beautiful, and still serviceable? Of course, happy to hear if you think something else is more subtle. I like different materials such as ceramic and titanium. Why is it not popular anymore? And I've added a photo so you can think what my, my, my what may suit me but please don't show it on your channel good luck and I appreciate what you're doing thank you very very interesting very interesting indeed and he, he also said there a little bit extra he said arch uh, I live in Sing another watch I like is the Hublot classic fusion I like the strength it radiates as a brand the problem with Rolex is that a million other brands have faked it and, and if I do meet someone who seems to have a real one, I'm generally not impressed. The Amiga is classic, yes, but the design is milky dry by now, is milk dry by now. I take back my wish for the Dark Moon Speedy. It just doesn't add anything to the original. Plus, only Batman wears complete black. So in short, what is new, daring, dark dial, robust with class? Which new watch has the potential to become a great icon, if not an icon? What watch would you recommend? I know it's a lot to ask, but why 
That's why I asked you, the guru. Cheers, I gotta go get some sleep flying back to Bangkok. No, it's for work. Yes, for real. He then came back. Fuck me dead. This is a never this is war and peace. Hey Art, just wanna let you know that I bought the Amiga Speedmaster 93. Jeez, he didn't wait for my advice. It's a newer version of the Moonwatch. It's heavy, bold, and I absolutely love it. I look some into the hublot and think it's a nice looking watch. Not sure if I still want to do the paid review. If you do, please do it on the 9300 and whether, considering the lengthy conversation, you reckon this is a good watch. Definitely fell in love with luxury watches. Bought it on the Singapore airport for 98 Sing, which is about 68. I was just too much in love with it to turn back and look to go online. Jesus, Gerard, you should fucking wait for me, Gerard. I'm the guru. So what do I think? He's bought an Omega Speedmaster 9300. Wowzers, fuckers. I gotta say, you know, I'm in shock. I'm in shock. You gotta give Archie some time. I take a little bit of time to respond, but fuckers, fuckers, you uh, fuckers, You've gotta be fucking careful here. It's um, Jesus Christ, I don't know what to say. You know, what I would have recommended to you, I'll tell you honestly, I would have said an Amiga Speedmaster, yes, definitely, but um. I, I probably would have gone for the um, the manual wind one because I'm a bit of a stickler to detail. But um, <clears throat> what do I think of this this watch here? Well, I don't hate it. No, this could this is this is okay. It's a, a coaxial, so it's automatic. Not a bad watch. Not a bad watch at all. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. I, I would have said an Explorer 2. Okay, there you go. Explorer 2. That's what I would have said because it's subtle. It's under the radar. It's. But what do I think of the automatic Amiga? Well, I wouldn't have recommended it. But now that now that I've just called it up on the computer, yeah, that works. That works indeed. I got to say that works. That's a really cool watch. That's really cool. That's a really cool. The 9300. The 9300 by... Yeah, 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 yeah. I, 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 I like it. I like it. It's a great piece. Yeah, that, that can work. That can work definitely. So there you go. He's bought an Amiga Coaxial 9300. I'm Archie Luxury. Tell me what you fuckers think of that. Let's ask the viewers, what do you think? I would have said an Explorer 2 would have fitted him, would have been perfect. But I don't hate the 93. That is a cool watch. Tell me, viewers, what do you fucking think? Yeah.